In this video, we're going to look at modifying the ServiceNow Outlook plugin so that it maps the email body to the description field instead of to the comments. So I have up here in my Outlook the ServiceNow uh, Outlook plugin, and I did this. I did Create Incident. And so this is the finished product, and I have the description field now in the form here. And you can see the body of the message mapped to, well, you can't see the body of the message because it's on the other screen, but you see that the, this is the body of the message. The power went out here, and now my computer won't turn on. Please help. And the subject, as it does out of the box, went to the uh, short description, and then the additional comments are just uh, left blank. So out of the box, uh, this piece goes down here to additional comments. Uh, I'm not sure why they did that because in all of the uh, email triggers and that, uh, email actions, the body of the email goes to description. Makes a lot more sense. But anyway, that's the way they set it up. So this video is going to look at how to change it so that it uh, goes to the description field. So it's actually really straightforward. Uh, there's just two steps. The first one is going to be to modify the create incident widget. So if we go into the platform view here and we go to service portal widgets and we look for create incident. Uh, and it, it is in the client controller. And we're going to go down to a function or a method here called populate fields. And in that method on line 118, well, here we can see on line, uh, where is it? Yeah, well, line 116, we see a short description item.subject. And we look up item. It's getting item from, maybe it's further up here. Oh, right here. Yeah, item equals uh, window.office.context.mailbox.item. Um, and there's a whole bunch of properties and methods in there. Uh, I have a link, or I'll, I'll put the link to the Microsoft documentation uh, in, the, in my blog article. And uh, you can see you can get everything out of there. Attachments, body, the, who's in the BCC. Well, actually, no, not the BCC. That's for message compose. But we want to get uh, everything from message read. Um, so we can get the date time created uh, from. So basically, everything that's in the email that we can access. Um, so here, it's just getting uh, the subject. And then on line 118, this is where we modify. So previously, this said set value comments to result.value.trim. We'll just change this uh, comments to description, All right? So we'll write it to the description field instead of to the comments field. Uh, so that's the simple part. Then we save it. So it was giving me some message about this widget being read only, but it let me write to it anyway. If you have that problem and it won't let you write to it, uh, then you can do the whole dance where you clone the widget and then you'll have to put the new widget into the page. Uh, and I'll show you what page that is. That's service portal pages, and it's called Outlook Home. All right, so Outlook Home has this. Uh, here, let's do it in Designer. So it has this create incident uh, widget, right? So instead of you're going to remove this create incident widget, and you're going to add the widget that you cloned, or the, the cloned widget with the modifications in there. Um, OK, and then the second thing, and this is even simpler, is you're just simply going to go to the incident table. And we're going to go to form design. And we're going to change the uh, Outlook view to include the description field so we have somewhere to write it to. Uh, note that this Outlook view is actually in this uh, ServiceNow add-ins for Microsoft Office uh, application scope. It's not in the global scope. Uh, so you have to be in that scope in order to modify it. 
uh, you do that, and and that's it. Simple as that. Uh, then basically, when the widget, uh, you go into an email and you call the create incident, or you, you click the create incident button, uh, it's going to pull up the description with the view, and then the client script is going to go ahead and copy the body of the email and write it here to the description. So that is how you remap uh, the, f the body of the email to the description field rather than to the additional comments.